Hey up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and you're staying inside. So today my video is going to be about Manly Warringah and the greatest ever team from 1947 to 2019. Just today Jeff Tuve, Manly legend, he did his greatest ever team and it got some backlash on Facebook. There was lots of people calling him a dope and an idiot. Lots of people calling him a divvy seeing that he was on drugs when he did the team so there was a lot of backlash for Jeff Tuvey and he was a manly legend I'm expecting the same with my list I'm going to be doing the greatest ever team 1-17 to starting with the fullback and I'm also going to be doing the coach if you've been following me channel or you've subscribed you would have noticed that I've done videos for South Sydney's greatest ever team Eastern Suburbs, North Sydney, Belmine, Newtown, Canterbury, Bankstown, Parramatta you can, check the, you can check those all out on the video list, but tonight it's going to be Manly Warringa. Before we get into the team, I just want to give a, a brief overview of the club for those who don't really know too much about rugby league history or don't really know too much about Manly's history. So the club was founded in 1946, but their first year was in 1947 in the New South Wales Rugby League Premiership. The were runners up in the competition about five or six times before they eventually won their first premiership in 1972 and that followed four premierships in the 70s, one in the 1980s, one in the 1990s and then one in 2008 and one in 2011. Manly is one of the more successful clubs in the NRL New South Wales Rugby League area um, this list was very, very difficult to compile because there's been so many players, so many different eras of, of greatness that the club's gone through. So to try to get a team and to cram all those players into one team is, is, is really difficult. So as I said earlier, I'm expecting a bit of backlash from this team. But here goes now, let's do it. So at fullback, I've chosen Green Edie or as he was known by his nickname, Wombat. So Graham Eady played 237 first grade games for Manly and he won four premierships in the 1970s and he also played in the 1980s as well. He held many point scoring records. He, holds, he still holds the most points for the club and he also held the most points as a player in the New South Wales Rugby League competition until that was broken, I believe, by Mick Cronin. So we had to be spot at fullback. The wingers have chosen Michael O'Connor and Ken Irvine. So Michael O'Connor come to the club from St George. He played 115 matches and he was part of that 1987 Premiership winning team that defeated Cambry. The other winger, Ken Irvine, well if you've watched me North Sydney video, he's in that on the wing. That's a bit of a no-brainer. He controversially moved from North Sydney to Manly in the early 1970s with the help of Ken Arthurson and uh, he played 60 games, scored 41 tries and he won two premierships with the club. So there are my wingers. At, Senate, at the centres I've got Bob Fulton and Jamie Lyon. So Bob Fulton, his nickname was Bozo. He played 219 first grade games for the club and won three premierships. In 1981, he was made a rugby league immortal. And Jamie Lyon, his nickname was Killer. He come to the club uh, from St. Helens via Parramatta. He played 226 first grade games for Manly and he won two premierships. So there be centers. The have pairing is Cliff Lyons and Jeff Tuve. So Cliffy Lyons, he played a club record 309 matches for the club and he won two premierships 1987-1996. And Jeff Tuvey, as I mentioned earlier, the one that everyone was calling a dope and an idiot, <laughs> he played 238 first grade games for Manly in the 1980s and 1990s and he captained the club to the 1996 grand final victory over St George. The props have gone for Roy Bull and John O'Neill. So Roy Bull was one of the foundation players of the Manly Club, played in their first ever season. 
He played 177 matches for the club and he was one of the real faced stars of the club. So he played for the club in the early days and he was, I, th I think he was the first ever Australian representative of the club and also the first New South Wales representative of the club. So very impressive there. And John O'Neill, he came to the club from South Sydney where he won four premierships. He ended up playing 51 games for Manly and he won two premierships with Manly in the early 1970s. So there are my props. At hooker, I've gone for Max Krilich. He played 215 matches for the club in the 1970s and 1980s and he won two premierships. He also captained Australia and played for New South Wales. So he's my hooker. The second rowers I've gone for Terry Randall and Steve Menzies. So Terry Randall played for the club in the 70s and 80s and he won four premierships and played 280, uh, 208 matches, not 280, 208 matches for Manly. Steve Beaver Menzies, he doesn't need any introduction. Uh, despite being a Manly player, I used to love watching Menzies play. For a second rower, he scored a lot of tries. I mean, a lot of tries. He's, he beat Frank Berger's record for most tries scored by a Ford. He played 280 matches for the club and he won two premierships in 1996 and 2008. He scored the final try in the 2008 grand final where they beat Melbourne 40 0. And he left the club on 349 games tied with Terry Lamb. And at lock, I've gone for Mal Riley. So Mal Riley comes from England, where I am, if you don't know already. And he won two premierships with the club in the 1970s. So he's me lock. And on the bench, the first player is Brett Stewart, or as he was known by his nickname, Snakes. So Brett Stewart won two premierships with the club in 2008 and 2011. He played 233 matches and scored a record 163 tries. Um, he was almost unplayable at Brookvale Oval. He scored most of his, tri most of his tries at Brookvale, Brookvale Oval. I think he was called the Prince of Brookvale Oval. Or he had some nickname tied to that because of the fact that he used to score so many tries there. But he's my first player on the list. My second player on the list for the bench is Glenn Stewart. Brett Stewart's brother. He played 185 matches for the club and won two premierships 2008-2011. The third player on the bench is Paul the Fat Man Vaughton or Fatty Vaughton. He played 204 matches for the club in the 1980s. Interestingly he nearly joined North Sydney before joining Manly but his dad talked him out of it. He went on to captain the club and he won a premiership with them in 1987 as they defeated Canberra in what was then the last ever grand final at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And my last player on the bench is Phil Blake. So I think Phil Blake's on his lonesome here for, well, along with Roy Bull, for one of the few manly players that hasn't won a premiership. He played 93 games for the club in the 1980s and scored 63 tries. Uh, Phil Blake was Mr. Utility Man. He was kind of like Luke Lewis. You, you could put him on the wing, fullback, five eighth, halfback. He, he was a he was a great player. You could put him anywhere. And I think with this team, if if any of those players went down injured, I'm pretty sure you could just see, hey, Phil, how he come on, go in the field, and he just fill in dead easy. So he gets me last spot. So that's me team one through to seventeen. And now we come to the final bit of the video, the coach. So the coach of the Manly team, I've decided to go for Bob Fulton, who I named Senna. But when you look at Bob Fulton and, and what he achieved as a coach at, at Manly, is actually quite impressive. Well, I think it's quite impressive anyway. So he coached the club in two, in two spells, 1983 to 1988 and 1993 to 1998. He won two premierships as a coach with Manly, four minor premierships and coached them the five grand finals. In all the years that he coached Manly, they never missed the finals once. So in both those spells, they made the final every year. And I remember in the 90s, he had 
that between that period, 95 to 97, they were one of the most well-drilled teams I've ever seen. Defensively, great. Attack, great. So, uh, Bob Fulton gets me spot for, for coach of this side. I could have gone for Ron Willey, could have gone for Des Hasley, could have gone for Frank Stanton, but I've gone for Bob Fulton. So, that's my team. I hope that you enjoyed uh, the team that I've given you today. If you did or you didn't, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are enjoying the content that I'm creating, then please consider giving the channel a, a subscribe. Um, make sure you click that notification bell as well, because if you don't click that notification bell when I do a video, you won't get an email to tell you that. And also, if you've got some extra spare time, apart from watching the videos I make, you can head over to Ruby League History. That's the Facebook page that I run. I'll put a link in the description below. My page is going fantastic at the moment. Really pleased with it. It's growing day by day. So I'd like to thank everyone out there for liking that page. But anyway, that's me done for tonight. So take care of yourselves, everyone. I'll catch us all later. And Tara.